Welcome to Geared to Live, a we to TV show brought to you by Choose Life International and the kindness of MTM TV. I am Dr. Donovan Thomas, president and founder of Choose Life International, and it is such a joy to have with me on the show today my wife of 36 years, vice president and co-founder of Choose Life International. Faith, welcome to the show. Thank you so much, Donovan. It is so good to be here again. I can't tell when last I've been here. You know, things really just take a few notches up when you're in the show. So welcome. Ah. Great to have you. Yeah. You know, we're talking about World Suicide Prevention Day. What is that again? Well, World Suicide Prevention Day is September 10. Every year, it is celebrated on September 10. And this year we're going to be doing our annual seminar, online seminar on September 9th. Last year, our participants voted in favor of September 9th for this amazing webinar instead of the Saturday. But we'll be doing other things on the Saturday too. And we want to just share some information with you and invite your participation for this online empowering seminar on September 9th. It's Friday, September 9th. Now, this International Day, World Suicide Prevention Day, was started by the International Association of Suicide Prevention. And the International Association of Suicide Prevention deals, works with people all over the world. You know that, right? I do, I do. And we have had the privilege of being at some of those conferences. Well, I remember the one we went to in Canada, and I think there was a regional one in Cayman some years ago. Yes. And I had gone to somewhere in South America to participate in one of those conferences. too. But the idea is that there are so many people around the world who are thinking about suicide, who are grieving because of death of loved ones to suicides, and so many who are actually taking their own lives. And we want to give attention to the fact that this is something that you need to be concerned about in your homes, in your families, in your churches, in your communities, in your nation. And you know, many times we think about um, suicide as being real, the, the, the spike is over there in North America. But right here in the Caribbean, we also have high numbers. And what about Guyana? Guyana well, is in the top three in the world in terms of suicide rate. And when we talk about suicide rate, we're talking about a um, number of suicides per 100,000. And uh, suicide, But, you know, that's an improvement over what has happened in the past. Right. Uh, because at one time... Guyana was number one number in the one. world. Yeah. And Trinidad also, their rate is about eight per hundred thousand. And when you get into, into Cuba, there's cause of concern and other Caribbean countries. We want to say, though, that even though the rate of suicide in your country may be low, one suicide is one too many. Have you ever witnessed the pain? of a family member going through the loss of a loved one by suicide? Wow, I don't wish that for anyone. In fact, they say that death by suicide of one person impacts about how many people? 131 persons grieve significantly. And it's at least that because there are many people. Think about what happens when we go to a church with 200 people, everybody grieves, and then the person is associated in families and in classes. And, work. and so, yeah, and work. So, we are saying to you today that we are inviting you to participate in the World Suicide Prevention Day 
online seminar. That means wherever you are in the world, you can benefit. And right now, I'd like to offer you some scholarships. We are going to offer on this program today 10 scholarships for every nation that is uh, viewing this program right now. So if you are from Canada, 10 scholarships for you. If you are from USA, 10 scholarships from you for you. If you are in the Cayman Islands, in Guyana, we offer 10 scholarships to your Trinidad. country. Wherever you are. Yes, hi Trinidad, Trinidadians right down there. So here is how you get that scholarship. Wanna ask you right now to send a WhatsApp to my cell number 869 3403. What do you know what the error code is? 876. Sorry. 876 869 3403. Just send a WhatsApp message that says, I want to be a part of the World Suicide Prevention Day seminar. Of that too long. Just say, I want to be a part of the seminar. And you will get a scholarship. Give us your email addresses in that message, and we'll write back to you with detail. Nurses, doctors, psychologists, Get credit for continuing education. Right, so nurses and doctors get continuing medical education, all of five credits, five hours of credit, and psychologists and counselors get 4.75 hours of credit. That's great. All right, great. Please, do you remember where we started from with these World Suicide Prevention Day seminar? Would you remind us? You know, 14 years ago, we started with 40 people at a hotel in Kingston, Jamaica. And we have had the joy of seeing the Lord bless this effort over the years. We, where we were meeting at a conference center just before pandemic, and we had almost 400 people. But not only that, on that in that very week, we had done another seminar that's face-to-face -face that was out in Montego Bay. I remember that Montego Bay seminar. We were expecting 50 persons. We had 150 persons turn up. That's right. It was an amazing conference uh, right there in Montego Bay. And wherever you are in the world, we want you to benefit. Now, in the pandemic, we recognize that we are able to get to different parts of the world. Last year, there were eight, over 800 people in on four different continents who benefited from this, this seminar. Right, right, right. I remember. I remember it was it was it was an excellent seminar last year. And I mean every year it's 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 as if it has improved there are different offerings and God has been so faithful over the years. Indeed. You know, we are using the same theme as the theme of the International Association of Suicide Prevention. And I am delighted um, to be the national uh, representative of HIAS here in Jamaica. And the theme for this year is creating hope through action. And in the Jamaican context, we have added on, let's save another life. Right, right. And it's the same theme that, that we had last year. So, you know, especially because of the pandemic and the impact, because we've seen where a lot of persons have experienced depression, experience anxiety a lot of persons have become suicidal and therefore the whole importance of creating hope that is very critical and not just creating hope in a vacuum but creating hope through action different things that can be done in order to help people live so we invite you to be a part of this world suicide prevention day Seminar on September 9th. It's virtual, so wherever you are. You know, Faith, we're going to be having the very outstanding Honorable Dr. Barry C. Black. He is actually chaplain of the U.S. Senate. Yes, that is a new one for us, and that's pretty exciting. Did you know that he's the first Black American to be chaplain of the U.S. Senate? Yes, and what's also interesting is that he has a doctorate in psychology. So this is not just, you know, just somebody coming, but he is also very relevant in terms of mental health. Of course. This is, this is a person who has studied extensively 
probably two masters or three masters. He has done a demon. He has done doctor of ministry. He has done the PhD. And he has a doctor of divinity. Wow. He's well learned. And he's coming to us out of the U.S. Uh, as uh, the special guest speaker. But the rest of the speakers can actually um, stand tall in terms of their competence in the field. And for the first time, we are having Dr. Erica Lamb. She is a clinical psychologist, trauma specialist, and she's representing the Alex Panton Foundation out of the Cayman Islands. Well, it will be great to have her because it's a first for, well, it's a first for someone coming out of Cayman to share on at this level with us. So that's great. We probably have had Arlene McGill, Dr. Arlene McGill before um, participating. But she is going to be, this, um, Dr. Lam is going to be talking about trauma and suicidality in adolescents. And that's, that's also a very, very important topic because a lot of our young people are going through their own types of trauma. And, you know, it will be good to have this addressed. And I want to make a plug here for guidance counselors, counselors, for parents, because sometimes we don't understand what our young people are going through. So it would be good for, for everyone to attend. So remember, you know, this conference is not just for professionals, but it is also for parents. Parents, pastors, HR managers, police officers, friends, family, we invite you. Church, to... church, church members, church workers. Are you telling me that all suicide impacts the church too? Oh, wow. And sadly so. You know, in fact, we, we, we are inviting some persons out of Zimbabwe. And we were coming from Atlanta recently and speaking to someone who is from Zimbabwe. And he told us that there is a lot of mental health issues in Zimbabwe. In fact, we also understand that there was uh, an assistant bishop who completed suicide, took his own life. Did, I, did you hear me? Yes, a bishop. And so sometimes we are not even recognizing the fact that in the church, some persons are struggling. And so we really want to make a big plug. Come on out. Sometimes we don't understand the signs and the symptoms of someone who is at risk to suicide. And this conference will also help you to get insight into that. Yeah. And we want to help you empower you wherever you are. I have a few people who have just talked about just the impact of these seminars on their own lives over the years and how this has been a part of helping them to find healing. You know, the pandemic has impacted the elderly, the pandemic has impacted the younger um, generation significantly. And we are doing a little focus on helping, um, focusing on providing support to adolescents. So not only are we talking about trauma and suicidality in adolescents, but we're also talking about non-suicide self-injury among adolescents. Tell us, give us a little insight into what that is. You know, there are times when adolescents go through these situations when they want to hurt themselves. And sometimes they cut, sometimes they indulge in uh, banging their heads and all kinds of... Sometimes they use cigarettes. To just burn, burn themselves. themselves. Right. So and that many, is non-suicidal, self-injury, self-harm. So, sometimes it is. And what it means is that the young person wants to escape the pain. So what they do is distract themselves from the pain and um, that they're feeling emotionally and they go to physical pain. But did you know that research is showing that non-suicide self-injury can also lead to suicide? Yes, yes. It is yes. on the same trajectory, and sometimes because of the guilt associated um, with what they experience uh, following the, the way they're hurting themselves, their cuts, sometimes the embarrassment that they experience, sometimes they just say they might as well go the full way. Right. And you know, I mean, I, I remember one day looking at a young lady's hand, 
And I mean, the whole of her hand, you just had these fine, fine cuts. And, you know, so sometimes we need to look carefully at our young people because sometimes they have it on their hands, sometimes they have it on their legs, on their stomachs, you know. So those of you who, <laughs> you know, are really interested, we are going to be covering that in the seminar also. And we invite you to be a part of that. We have with us out of the Ministry of Health in Jamaica, uh, Dr. Pernell Bell, a regional clinical psychologist. And we are looking forward to, to that session. We also have Dr. Winston Delahaye, consultant psychiatrist, senior lecturer in the ministry. Um, senior the lecturer in the University of the West Indies. Right, sorry, thank you. Yes, the University of the West Indies. And he'll be talking about the, the epidemic within the pandemic. Did you know that the pandemic has impacted mental health of many people in significant ways? Yes. Panic attacks, what else? Well, the whole anxiety, depression, and all of that. And then you have that thing, that nebulous thing called long COVID. And long COVID is not just with physical symptoms of disease, but mental issues. And we want to encourage you to join us for this. But you know what? There are times when there's a relationship between murder and suicide. Yes, 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 and, yes, yes. And there will be a session on homicide and suicide. What is the relationship? Do you know who's going to be the presenter for that session? Tell us. Dr. George Leverage. He is the... He's a consultant psychiatrist, and he is head of the psychology section or the psychiatry section of the Jamaica Defense, Jamaica Constabulary Force. Yes, and he's a member of the board of directors of Choose Life International. Yes, and I mean, this is a very important topic because just this week, the, the, the Jamaican and the Trinidadian governments were talking about um, the whole business of reducing murders in our countries and in our region. So sometimes, especially because we have such a high murder rate in Jamaica, and the, the rate in Trinidad is pretty high. It's not as high as Jamaica. But the whole business of understanding not only homicide, but the relationship with suicide, we will have a great um, exploration of that topic. Do you think some of those deaths labeled homicide may really be suicide? They could be. With the hopelessness and all those kinds of things. But come to the seminar and hear more from the consultant psychiatrist who has been working with the Jamaica Constabulary Force for a number of years. And then we are going to be talking about legal and ethical perspective in suicide intervention. Wow, I'm looking forward to this session. You know, who are the people going to be presenting on this session, Faith? Tell us more. Mrs. Jacqueline Samuels Brown, QC, attorney at law, and her fellow presenter, Miss Marjorie Shaw, attorney at law. And they'll be talking about legal and ethical perspectives. Wow, this promises to be such a very engaging day. And then you and I, what are you going to be talking about again? Tell them. How do we respond following uh, death by suicide? So we are going to be talking to some persons who have experienced um, death of loved ones. And we want to talk about coping with death by suicide. Uh, how does a family member respond? What are some do's and don'ts of communicating with family members? What about the church context and the school context? How do we deal with that? You know, it promises to be quite a, an engaging and very interesting and exciting day. It is. With it a is. lot of information. It's a lot of information, a lot of relevant information. And 
especially because this is not an era that people talk about easily. So I'm really looking forward to it. And I'm looking forward to our particular um, conversation with, um, with Chris Martin. And you have somebody else? Yeah, we do. But Chris Martin has just completed a book. And you're going to be hearing more about that, and about journeying with someone who eventually dies by suicide. And how the trauma that he went through himself and how that impacted him. We're going to be exploring that. Managing the impact of completed suicide. The World Suicide Prevention Day Seminar. Sponsored by Choose Life International. Yes, sponsored. Hosted by Choose Life International with some outstanding sponsors, sponsors yes. who have been walking the path with us um, for a number of years. We want to shout out now to the sponsors, the Jamaica Broilers Group Limited. That is the main sponsor, you know, Faith? Yes, I mean, Jamaica Broilers Group Limited has been with us for a number of years. And we just want to give God thanks for them. Right, so we want to say a shout out to the Jamaica Broilers group of companies as, uh, again, we say thanks for really believing in us and coming alongside us and just celebrating with us so that we can help people and impact lives. We want to shout out Unicoma, the courts people, those furniture people, yes. and all that they do. Thanks so much for being a part of the, uh, the event with us. And then there is... There's GIFs. Yeah, Jamaica Institute of Financial Services. You got it. We say big thank you. I want to salute the team that has been planning this. And we also have the IDB, the Inter-American Development Bank. Sure, thank you. That's why I need you close by now. <laughs> That's right. All right. So we're looking forward to quite an engaging day. And anywhere in the world you are, you can participate. And here is the giveaway again. Yes, it is 35 US per participant. But the first 10 that will uh, send me a WhatsApp message that says, Dr. Thomas, I desire to have a scholarship to the seminar on September 9th. Anything of that message of that sort that you remember. Just send it to me and we'll give you a free pass. Well, guess what? Tell 35, them the number again. Your telephone number again, your WhatsApp 876-869-3403. And right now it is on the screen. You can just pick it up right there. Because our passion in life is to help people live. And we're carrying the sub-theme, saving another life. Right. Let's save another life. That's what we're asking you. To do by joining forces with us. The Ministry of Choose Life International believes in the biopsychosocial spiritual model of intervention. What does that mean? Believe in medicine, believe in counseling, believe in social intervention, and of course, spiritual intervention. And we want to help you wherever you are. In fact, we want to ask you. So just reach out to us. There are several offerings from Choose Life International. If you go to our website, www.chooselifeintl.org, there are over 100 free webinars reported, um, that's our posted on, on that. Right? Yeah. So that's, that's our, our website, but also our YouTube. YouTube channel, where you can also subscribe at Choose Life INTL, Choose Life International at Choose Life International. So you have over 100 free webinars there, courtesy of Choose Life International, on varying topics marriage, singleness, just interview, happiness, gratitude, at no extra cost. Mental at health. No cost. Yeah. We encourage you to. Benefit from that. Then we also offer seminars. Anywhere you are in the world, we can do seminars. What a stress. Open with life. Yes. And it's online. We can come to you online. We can do those presentations. Um, choosing happiness in tough times. 
realign yourself um, and your organization with happiness, all those kinds of stuff, parenting seminars. But we also provide counseling service. And we have with us today the, the director of counseling. Tell them about how they can connect um, with the counseling center. Well, you can also look on our website. Our, our details are there. You can call the office if you are interested in getting counseling or helping someone get counseling. 876-920-7924 or 876-856-2966. So reach out to us if you need counseling or if you would like to have a presentation at your church or your organization. You wanted, before we, we wrap up, to give a shout out to our staff, our board, our volunteers. Let's just do it. Shout out to all of your staff, volunteers, and prayer partners, donors. And the board. And the board. And guess what? You can be a part of the prayer team. You can be a part of the volunteer team. Just reach out to us using the information available on your screen. We want to remind you that every Sunday at 5 p.m., Choose Life International hosts a webinar. And we are continuing our series. And as we deal with the World Suicide Prevention Day preparation, we are talking about creating hope through action. This Sunday, we will have a bishop out of Antigua, a Jamaican-born Bishop Philbert Johnson, who will be our guest. But did you know that he also thought about hurting himself as a child? And look at where we're going to be talking with him. We invite you to join us. 516-152-2200. That's the Zoom ID and the password. Choose life, all common letters. We are interested in your well-being. In the face of difficulties, we ask you to reach out and get help. If you're in Jamaica, we invite you to call the Ministry of Health uh, for counseling any hour of the day or night. It's a toll-free line, 888-639-5433. Uh, get the help you need before it is too late. Again, we invite you to register today for the World Suicide Prevention Day uh, seminar. We invite you to register today at Spur Open, that is S P U R R O P E N dot com slash C L I seminar. So go ahead and register today. Wherever you are, we care about you. We want to empower you. Yes, it's easier for you to reach out to us by WhatsApp messages. We may not be able to call you back wherever you are in the world, but send us a WhatsApp message and we'll respond to that. Right now, we'd like to just take a moment and pray um, with you. Heavenly Father, we give you praise. We thank you, Lord, for the opportunity that we have of helping people live. And I pray, Lord, that as this goes through over the airways, that there will be persons who will respond because they want to be able to help someone choose life. And so, Lord, help them even now to send the, the WhatsApp to the number so that they can be a part of this seminar coming up on September 9th. We give you praise. Let your word and your hope go through all nations for your glory and honor. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Oh, faith, it's such a joy to have you once more with me on the program. You should do that more often. You've been watching Gear to Live, a weekly TV show brought to you by Choose Life International and the kindness of MTM TV. Every Thursday at 6.30 p.m. with rebroadcast on Saturdays at 6 p.m. Join us every week for an amazing episode. Dancing, 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 dancing.